You and T-34 entered the cafe together. Of course they had to make this place look American. Everything these days just has to be American. Aren't you American, Erwin? Yeah, although my grandfather's from Germany. <laughs> Too bad they got the way- Uh, I uh, mean, uh... <clears throat> Anyways, at least you are not French. Uh, while we're here, you want to get something to drink? The tea smells pretty good. Sure, why not? Alright, let's see. Uh, I'll get a green tea, please. And what are you gonna have, little lady? If you have Russian tea, I will take this. If not, regular tea, black. Well, she sure has interesting tastes. You and T-34 take a seat at a small table and wait for your drinks to be done. And start smooching. All right, here you drinks. He sets them in front of you and returns to the counter. You and T-34 take a few minutes to finish your drinks. That was really good. Only thing that warms you up better than tea on a cold Moscow morning is a good hot bushed soup. I agree, T-34. Can't say I ever had a chance to go to Moscow. If you ever get a chance, definitely go and visit. The architecture, the history, the people, lights, especially the parks and small forests, all of it is beautiful. Once you are there, you won't want to leave. Maybe I will. You'll have to show me around when I'm there, though. <laughs> Hold up. You mean like date or something? Uh, yeah, why not? You smile at her. I guess this is okay. She blushes. Anyway, I'm sure we can find the rest of the stuff on your list if we look around town some more. Are you ready to go? Yes. Let's go, she says timidly. She's smiling so much more! It's like she's accepting me! A few minutes later. Okay, so we found the umbrellas, the salt and the lime. What's left? Sandals, yukata, and tequila, she sighs. Such can worry about that last part. For now, let's see if we can find that yukata. I mean, it is Japan. There has to be a place around here that sells them. Right, let us look. You and T-34 continue down the street a short ways before you ask. Hey, T-34, I've only been at the school a little while, but I was wondering something. Well, you might as- Oh. Well. You might as well ask me. Not like there's anyone else around that will be able to tell you about tank school. Unless we happen to run into Sherman again. Ask about- Oh. Tell me about your cousin, IS-2. Why? What is there to tell? She seems kind of... off. Oh god, you didn't. Never mind, she is nuts. That's all you need to know. Can you elaborate, or... Let us not go there. Trust me, she is crazy. Okay. Hey, T-34, it's a clothing store. I figured we would find one eventually. Let's go inside and see what we can find. Alright. You enter the store and clothes line all of the aisles. In the back you can see some more traditional Japanese garments and by the register there are plenty of different choices for swimwear. Man, there's so many different kinds of clothes in here. Different patterns can serve nicely for different purpose. Camouflage isn't just about the woods or the desert, it is about the blending in with the environment no matter where you are. Hmm, I never really looked at clothes that way. A good armored skirt and a decent pair of guns is all a good tank needs. <laughs> right. I don't get what the gunny wants with these kinds of clothes. They are just so... bourgeois. You know what? Forget his errands. We can just look around if you want. Now you are talking. I still don't have anything efficient for beach ops, although I rarely ever have to conduct them. She starts walking over toward the swimsuit section and stops. Um, you do not have to come with me or anything, she says softly. It's no problem. Maybe I can help you pick something out. Okay. She says, looking shy. You both continue into the swimsuit section. You know, I think this white one would look really great on you. Well, it is not like I asked you or anything. But do you really think so? Of course. Um, well, thank you, Erwin. I might as well see if it works. My frame isn't really used to amphibious attachments. She takes the white bathing suit and goes off to change. After a few moments, she comes back wearing the new bikini. Aw. So, how does it look? Looks like IS2? What the fuck? Oh, you look dope? You look dank! Do, do not say things like that. But, like... Her face turns red. But, do you really think so? Of course, it looks really nice on you. Alright then, this one seems sufficient. 
Um, I shall purchase it. Thank you, Irvin. She goes back to change into her school clothes. Tank school ain't bad. Ain't bad at all. <laughs> anyway, let's head back to the beach. Gunny can figure out his clothing and alcohol needs on his own. <laughs> Sounds good to me. T-34 pays for her swimsuit, and you both walk back toward the beach. Looks like we made it back to the beach before everyone else. Man, what a day. You said that. Whew. Thanks for letting me tag along, T-34. It was fun. Yes, it was, I guess. Um, thank you for going with me, too. After a couple of minutes, the rest of the tanks begin arriving back at the beach, and the gunny begins approaching from his beach chair in the distance. As he gets nearer, all of the tanks begin to laugh. Once he's close enough for you to make out his face clearly, you break out in laughter. Aww! Is there something funny, huh? Uh, no, Sergeant. This recruit, um, was just wondering how the Sergeant enjoyed his day at the beach. Perfectly well, thanks. Now, all of you got the evening off, but you better be in class on time, you patoots. That means you, Sherman. Yeah, okay. There's a fireworks festival happening tonight. The last thing I want to hear is the sound of explosions in the night, so get your shit in gear. See you tomorrow, tanks slash recruit. The tanks all begin splitting off to go back into the town, and T-34 stays back to talk with the gunny. Once she's done, you walk up to her. You wanna go watch the fireworks together, baby? Hey, uh, T-34, I was wondering if maybe you'd like to go see the fireworks together. Well, I, um, sure. It's not like I have anything better to do, she says, blushing. Great, let's go then. Okay. Yeah! Let's do it! After a good 30-minute hike up the hill, you start nearing the summit. T-34 has been quiet most of the way, but you catch a glimpse of her staring at you and blushing every so often. A few minutes later, you crest the top of the hill. Do you think this is the place? How should I know, maybe? I do not see anything yet. Oh, it's pretty dark. They should be starting soon. I've always liked fireworks. They remind me of the Great Patriotic War. Oh, what's that? I believe you capitalists call it World War II or something similar. Uh, yeah, right. World War II. Well, to me, fireworks always remind me of my dad. How so? Well, when I was really little, he would take me out to watch them together on the 4th of July. Family. That is sweet. <laughs> yeah, we'd be out in this big meadow near my house, and you could hear the cicadas and the tree line nearby. I was pretty young, though, so when the first fireworks of the night went off, I'd get scared and hold my dad's hand really tight. Hmm. <laughs> that is adorable enough to warm Siberia. So, do you still stay in touch? Huh? With your father, I mean. Oh! No, he died when I was pretty young, fighting against the plane girls. Wait! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Hold up! Wait a minute! This whole time he's been like, They're tanks, but they're also girls. But they're tanks, but they're girls. This is implausible! But this whole time he's been like, Yes, my dad was murdered by plane girls. What? <laughs> what? That doesn't make any sense! What? Okay. Oh, Erwin. I am very sorry. It's okay. Happened a long time ago. I mean, I know I shouldn't begrudge them, but I've hated flying ever since. Well, if you ever need to talk about it, I am here for you. She shakes your hand. Thanks, T-34. I know I really should- <gasps> ah! Erwin, don't squeeze my hands so tight. She blushes. I'm not scared or- <gasps> Which- which- I'm not scared or maybe I got spooked. Which would she appreciate more? Me being like super honest? I'm not scared. Or maybe I got spooked. <gasps> if I say I'm not scared, then it's like- I didn't squeeze your hand because of the- because of the fireworks. I squeezed your hand because I like you. I'm not scared, I just- I wanted to uh, make sure that you weren't scared. Erwin, I am 26 tons of steel. I am not going to be rattled by a little firework. Ah! She squeezes her your hand with the force of a medium tank. Ow, 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 oh, oh, ow. Oh, I am sorry, Erwin. Hey, it's okay. I'm fine. 
who are pretty strong, I guess. She smiles at you. The fireworks really are, um, you know, pretty. Yeah, it's nice being here with you. You are really sweet. For an American, I mean. Uh, well, thank you for helping me on the scavenger hunt today. Kind problem shown, Medell. <laughs> huh? How's my Russian, huh? T-34 starts giggling. Erwin, that is not Russian. Anyway, it's model. But thanks anyway. <laughs> oh, right, well, uh, you're really sweet too. What are you saying? That, well, I like spending time with you. Well, I... I... She leans in closer. Smooches. Erwin, I was wondering if... Maybe I could... Ki what the shit? Oh, rain! Not the rasp... Ra rap titsa mm -hmm. My threads are going to get stuck in the mud up here. Oh, well, let's get you inside. Here, take my hand. Let's get back to town. Okay. She takes your hand and you both start heading down the mountain. After a good 15 minutes of walking, you reach the train station. Oh, thank God. Sick of blood. I don't know about that. I don't know. At least I didn't get too wet. Yeah. Well, it looks like my train is pulling in. Oh, uh, I guess I'll see you tomorrow? I... Yes, I would like that. Let's do this again sometime, without the rain. She smiles at you before getting on her train. Yo, don't forget that bathing suit that you bought. Bye, Erwin. She shuts. The train doors close. We almost smooched twice now already. Should probably get home too. After a long train ride home, you finally reach your destination. The walk home is short, but after a long day, each step feels like a mile. Finally, you reach your apartment. The room is dark, and the moonlight casts shadows on the wall. You sit down on the bed and lay your head on the pillow, shoes and everything still on. Ugh, rest. <sighs> Super is- oh no, what the hell, fuck! That didn't feel like sleep at all. God, at least I'm already dressed. As you rush down the hallway toward the classroom, you begin muttering to yourself. Man, I overslept. Damn it, I'm gonna get chewed out again. Stupid long-ass train ride home last night. Suddenly, Sherman pokes her head out from one of the doors and shouts. Hey, new guy! You turn around to face her. Over here! Sherman, what are you doing in that classroom? We're both late. Come on, Erwin, get in here! She waves you in. Oh, it's one of those sort of things. My lucky day. As you enter the classroom, you can see all of the tanks in their seats, and the gunny standing at the front. Well, if Recruit Lammer here would like to join us, we could start. Sergeant, I- Recruit Lemmer, I swear you could navigate your way out of a map store, mister. This recruit didn't know the classroom had been moved, sir. You couldn't have guessed when you saw the old one was a smoking hole, huh? You couldn't have guessed? You know, back when you got shot and the whole room was on fire, you didn't notice, huh? No one informed this recruit of the change, drill sergeant, sergeant, sir. Tanks, give this maggot your phone numbers. Oh. Yeah, senpai, here's my number. Send me a text so I can add you. Uh, sure. You send her a quick It's Irwin message. Awesome. I added you to our group chat. Wait, what? Oh, no. Sherman, I don't... I don't want to be in the... God damn it, Sherman. Sergeant, why do I have to give him my number? <laughs> You're a commie tank, Recruit 34. Aren't you supposed to love sharing? All right, here, Irwin. Uh, thanks. I promise I won't misuse it. You better not. I get touchy with phone lines. You never know who is listening. <laughs> right, okay. You too, Recruit Tiger. Um, Sergeant, should it always give me his number, too, or... That makes us go faster than just do it! Is there anything he doesn't scream about? Here, Tiger, I'm not... Blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah! She whispers softly. Alright, so I guess I need... 
You're number two, Panzer IV. Uh, recruit for your phone number, not your designation. All right, um, here you go, Erwin. Great, I'll call you if I have any questions. Dope, sick, dope, dope, sick. Cool, Lemmer, I expect you to be on time and prepared always and forever. You're lucky I had a relaxing day yesterday. I'm going to spare your butthole just this once. However, you will be providing each and every one of your classmates with ten knee bends now. Oh man. Ten knee bends each. A few hours later, I'm still doing knee bends. Man, that was a killer test. I'm bushed. <laughs> Fucking shit, IS2. Get out of my life. Why? <sighs> Erwin. Uh, what? Don't just pop out of nowhere like that. Erwin, I am. I have a question for you. Uh, uh sure. Go ahead. Well, um, you must think long and hard about this question, because it's a matter of state security, so... State security? Yeah. Uh... Do not be of the worrying. Question is easy, in and of itself, the answer is, like, not very easy, you know? Uh, thanks for clarifying. Now I ask the question, are you prepared? Sure. Okay. What did he get on question 42? I don't remember, IS2. <gasps> don't withhold information from me. Hoarding information is the way of the capitalist czarist pigs, and they steal information from the people and use it for their own gains. Stealing is not the Soviet way, comrade. Uh, I'm not hoarding or stealing or anything. I just, I don't remember, so... We have maids to make people remember, you know. Uh, fine, it was... Oh, God, what the hell? <laughs> Very good, yes. Um, I got the same answer, so... Right, well, uh, cool. Have a nice day. Oh, God, why? I'm going home. I'm going home forever! Finally, I'm home! Man, tomorrow's Saturday, too. Can't wait. God, I have the entire day to myself. All for... Uh, all for me. Uh. Morning! Yeah, this is gonna be awesome! No tanks, no gunny, no weird shit! There's so many things I can accomplish. I'm gonna open the curtains and greet the day! Hello, son! Oh, what should I do today? Hmm. Oh no, am I wasting the whole day? Playing too many video games. Played video games all day long. <laughs> Shit! That's it. I'm calling somebody. <gasps> Oh, who do I call, though? Um, it's obvious. Well, here goes nothing. Ring, ring. The T-34 speaking. Oh, T-34! Funny to hear you here. Oh, shit, what was that? Um, I was just calling to ask if you wanted to possibly, uh... Erwin, I am very busy. This better not be personal call. Do you want to go on a date, or... Excuse me, what did I say about using this line? So you don't want to go on a date? Tomorrow at noon. Be there. Or die. Wait, where are we going? The park, don't be late. She slams the phone down and the line goes dead. <sighs> Can't tell if I just got myself a date or a death warrant. Well, I guess I'll see you in the morning. <sighs> I get to do so many acting yawns in this. <sighs> <sighs> you arrive at the park with barely a minute to spare. 